Hey, today we're going to be setting up 2.5D. Let's begin with the basics. Basic body rig first. Parent images to their bone. Don't forget our little rats. The other one. Easy, right? Now we're ready to rig. Let's mesh all the images. We start with the body. Make sure to mark the inside. Now, the neck. Back of the neck. Our mesh is ready. Now, we'll bind them to the bones and paint weights. Images should follow the bone like this. Here's a tip. Use animation to paint weights in real time. Set animation and adjust the weights, details. We have our basic rig ready. It's time for 2.5D. Let's start with the body. We need two bones, body turn and body turn back. We'll use transform constraint set to negative 100. To make these bones move like this, set animation, paint weights. Check if it's all right. We'll mostly paint with head turn on the inside and head turn back on the very edge. Details. Check if it's all right. Good. Next, the head. We start with the mesh. We have to be careful not to cut off any hair. Now let's mark the facial features. Mark the eyebrows. Don't forget the cheeks and the eyes. Follow the hairline. Mark the hair parting line. Now the mesh is done. Easy, right? Before we dive into the head 2.5D, I want to set up the basic bones to the face. Add one control bone, which contains all the other bones. We're gonna do the same with the mouth. One mouth control bone and the others. Now head to 2.5D. Again, set animation, then paint weights. Details. Check. Good. Add a bit more weight to the eyebrows. And the nose bridge. Much better. Setting up the head 2.5D is actually my favorite part. Watching the head turn in 3D while painting weights is oddly satisfying, isn't it? But Houston, we have a problem. Facial features are moving separately when the head turns. We have to make all the control bones to follow the head turn bone with transform constraint. I name each transform constraints like this. Control bone name follows the head turn. You can tweak the settings while checking the preview in real time. Look, here, see? Now everything follows the head nicely. Now the front hair making the hair bones. Let's use transform constraint again. Now the hair follows too. Set mesh. Let's use physics constraint for the hair. I like to lower the inertia. Unchecking the bone constraints one by one from the top. Then it moves like this. Same thing for the other one. Love this. Hair needs more dimension. Bind head turn and head turn back. Paint weights. Head turn back on the outer edge. Hmm, looking good. Details. Good. Now, the other one. After we paint the weight for the hair, 2.5D for the head is finished. Now it's time for the hand. We begin with basic rigging. Mesh. Wait. When we're done, we begin setting up 2.5D. Hand turn and hand turn back. Transform constraint to minus 100. Good. Now we paint weights. Details. Looking good. We'll make the fingers follow this hand turn. One by one. All move in together like this. 
details. We can animate with this hand turn like this. Now it's time for the rats. So I went through the whole process like before. I've also painted weights on his ears. After we've animated the rat's position, we can use this rat 2.5D to add more dimension. Now the other one. So this is how I set up 2.5D for Rajasthan. We've set up for the body, the head, the hand, and finally, the rats. <laughs>